this way, see? She won't know that she's in. <laughs> and it's another Macca's stop. I think it looks like we uh, just live at Macca's when we're travelling, but we really don't. Stay behind. <laughs> Stay behind. Stay behind. Get, we'll get Alyssa as well today. We're at the uh, Australian Retail Park in Gosford with the customers of Central Coast. <laughs> Look, the swimming is coming towards you. Yeah. Swimming. Hopefully, this one coming like a freight train is my favourite. <laughs> they know we give them food, nothing else, nothing less. Straight over the top of the other one. They're not the most uh, dainty creatures on the planet. Come on! How often do they get fed? Uh, every Saturday, every Sunday, and every day of the school holidays. That's it. Between April and October, they just don't get any food at all. It's too cold for them. This water's not heated or treated in any way. So that's their natural winter. Yeah, well, it's, it's, well it is because of that. It's not like, you know, people always say, oh, they're drunk or they're stoned. It's just there's not a lot of energy in there yeah, as yeah. well as that, you know. Yeah. So you can see there's two under the one bit of skin. Still x-ray, it's still five digits, the same as our hands. Oh. But they use it like a brush. So <laughs> some days I'll come up and give my beard a bit of a go. <laughs> Koalas also have like a little wedge in their butt. And as they grow, it gets bigger. So there's hundreds of species of yeah. eucalypt, yeah. but there's yeah. only yeah. certain yeah. ones they yeah. can eat. While they're asleep, they can, it's not using any energy, really. It's cool. looking at something now, which is, I always like looking where they look, because they show you where things are. You, you look where they look, because they always point something out for you. They actually sit usually quite low to the ground, same as this. And look, that's why you find them on your swing sets and your road signs and things like that. They're looking down, looking for those little terrestrial insects or rodents, things like that. He's 180 kilos. 180 kilos. So, but if you put a finger or something out oh! in front of him, oh, it will bite it off. He was very small. Dippy had a shell deformation, so he had like a mineral deficiency or something. So his shell goes down and it looks like a saddle. Oh, this one, just if you hold your fingers there, you can't take the same time by Three, is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Right. Does that sound? I'll see how it goes. Can I have some reception? Second degree, how do you play Yeah, these are all siblings and they're all, at this stage here, there's no need to. They're not fighting over food or anything. Yep, yep, we've got Grace here. Thank you. Sorry. Take the bite. Someone has to, right? The thing is with them when they bite down, they do hurt, but most of the time, let's see, most of the time if I put my hand in there, it'll grab and it will let go straight away, but sometimes they don't. The smaller, faster ones are of course the females. It's not an adult and juvenile thing. As I said in the morning reptile demo, uh, the males got substantially uh, larger than the females. Our biggest boy in here is around 450 kilos. Hopefully not my hands, but most importantly, uh, <laughs> try not to get pulped. Alright, let's go. Come on, come on. There we go. So you can see the way they use their tails. Their foot's definitely up and out of the water. Alright, let's go. Good feed. Alright, let's go.
on, here comes our boy Dash. In here we do have Violet and Dash. I will pick one of them up at the end and walk them around and show everybody the crazy thing these ones, which is why they are so friendly with me. Normally a Tasmanian devil is nothing like this at all. They won't come near me. And if they do, they'll just be trying to attack me. How was your day, Mel? Hi. I was attacked by emus <laughs> that went up my kimono and <laughs> ate my up skin. your what? <laughs> my kimono <laughs> and then ate my hair. Definitely a non-highlight of the day. That was a good day, but for sure. A great day out at the uh, Australian Reptile Park at uh, Gosford. Been here with the Central Coast Insta Instagram group. Uh, so we had a bit of a tour with one of the keepers this morning came and then we've just been wandering around having a bit of a look this afternoon ourselves and we're um, just about ready to head off. 